minimalist and you're watching Truck It and Travel? Look at that thing. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. Well, looks like they did a pretty good job. Better late than never. Sounds like it was kind of slow going getting it done. As far as what I heard, I can't tell you that for a fact, but that's why I didn't get a load Monday. It's from what I heard. Today we're gonna to take a Wildwood travel trailer, and according to this, it's 36 feet long. And the actual weight is 8,535 pounds. And this might be it right here.
Good morning, everybody. It is game time. I stopped here late and uh, got I stopped late, so I'm starting late. Seems like a beautiful day. It's got a little wind to it. According to the cell phone, gusts of wind up to 14 miles per hour, which is totally doable. So good to go. Headlights are on, tow modes on. I'm leaving a pilot here in New York. I don't think it's too far from Bath, New York. You guys know where that's at. <clears throat> I stopped here for uh, just a couple minute break so I could get something to eat because uh, I spent the night at that rest area and I didn't have uh, I didn't want to eat vending machine food, so. So I drove a couple hours and uh, this was like the first truck stop I came across, or at least that's what I see. Now we're gonna get back on Interstate 86. Continue on route. And we're gonna continue on route.
So when I was uh, driving, I couldn't help to notice, well, first of all, check out this cool house back here. It's pretty cool. Don't mind my dumb hoodie. I know a lot of people like to give me crap about that. It's just a hoodie now. Used to be a fan, not so much right now. Check out this place right here. It's a castle. Look at that thing. It's gigantic. I want it as a home. I don't know what they actually use this as, but it's freaking cool. This thing is huge. Anyways, I just dropped off my load. Everything went over really well. The owner was the one that checked it in. He's a really hands-on guy, and he seemed really concerned about how much I made per mile. He uh, he did the math, wanted to know how much I was getting paid and how much he was getting, like how much he was paying, and uh, he didn't like how much I was being paid. And uh, so I thought that was just interesting. I'm sure he likes to know the ins and outs and I really have no problem telling him because I'm not happy with what I'm getting paid. So uh, maybe he'll be a little voice for the drivers. Probably not, but you know, you never know. Anyways, we're gonna head back to the Midwest and uh, see what happens. I couldn't get any loads for this area going back. There was something from New Jersey to Texas, but I gotta be back by Saturday and that wouldn't have happened. It was it would have been a good deal. It was like a dollar sixty per mile. But oh well you win some, you lose some. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me.